How's it going, everybody? Playing some more Thunder. Flying my Spitfire F Mark 14E. It's the first of the Griffin powered Spitfires in the game. It is a beautiful plane to fly. See if I can do a little bomber hunting. Not my favorite thing to do. Too much, uh,. RNG, if you will, involved. It's, uh, gotta get really lucky, basically, and, uh, not get shot down by the gunners, because, uh, the gunners on these B-17s are super nasty, so there's a very high probability that you will get shot down by their gunners. Other people coming in on my bomber here, so hopefully between us we'll get them, and Man, that is some serious hurt I put on him. I hope he's uh, going down. Yeah, it appears that he is. And I got the aircraft destroyed. Sadly, I'm headed right back to the air base because, uh, yeah, I need to reload now. Uh, there's an a midway air base over here that's probably a bit closer for me that I'm going to go to land on right now and reload my cannons and get back out there. Those B-17s are, are, are really hard to take out. So Anyway, I'm headed to the air base over here. I'll explain uh, the Griffin Spitfires, which this is the first one you can unlock. Uh, the main difference is they still turn really well like a spit. Um, they're just faster and they handle better at high altitude. Um, the nose does feel a little heavier actually, but that could just be me and I don't have this thing maxed out yet, so. But uh, yeah, these Griffin Spits are really nice. Uh, the top speed's a lot faster, like uh, I believe the previous Spit, my top speed on it was about 680 or 690 and I think this one's uh, uh, 740 and it's the slowest of the Griffins. The other three that you unlock are faster, so. Uh, it's already got a 50 kilometer per hour edge on the previous model. Uh, it climbs well. It also, uh, from what I hear, it turns a lot better at high altitude than the other Spitfires do. Uh, I haven't really tested much of that. I've done a little high altitude fighting, but I keep drawing this map since I unlocked it. And this map is, to be honest, like 90% of the American team on this map just usually uses B7. Not 90%, but... Most of them just jump in their B-17s, and it's kind of standard, you know, bomber hunting. And kind of hate it, because like I said, bomber hunting's not my favorite thing to do. There's too much, uh, too much of a luck factor involved, and the gunners on those B-17s are super nasty, and you really have to get lucky to not get shot down by them, which really stinks. I don't like that play style as much, but, you know, that's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. Thing landed and repaired here. And get back, get back in the action. And luckily, I do not see any real close aircraft gonna come in and get me. What do we got up there? Oh, we got an F4U up there, and I uh, can't tell what the other one is. F4U down below. So we do have quite a few fighters. Uh, most of the time, when I've been coming in this map. Uh, earlier today. I took a break from playing for a while, but I was playing earlier today and I kept drawing this map and this plane and uh, it would most of the time be, uh, you know, eight or nine B-17s on the other team and like two or three fighters only, you know, so not that much fun. But I won't say anything. I mean, I fly B-17s too, so not like I'm going to uh, hammer him. Uh, this incoming P-51 here. Let me grab a little altitude. Looks like he's trying to run from our Tempest, actually. Uh, may not be that good of a trade for him. Tempest may be able to catch him. I don't know. P-51's a pretty fast plane, too. 
Uh, that's why I'm trying to go ahead and grab some altitude here so when it comes time I can drop down on him and use that altitude to gain speed so he can't just outrun me. Uh, hopefully it works. Uh, we have a bunch of planes incoming on him too so it looks like he's going to be in big trouble. In fact I'm going to start losing a little altitude now because uh, I'd like to get there and get a piece of him before uh, he's done and it doesn't look like he's got a lot left in him with three a Tempest and two Spitfires on him already. Hopefully I don't get stuck in a head-to-head. -head. I hate it when that happens, but they get thrown at me a lot, you know. Once, it seems like once you get within about, uh, you know, 1.6 or 1.7 kilometers from them, if they turn at you, you don't have a whole lot of choice. I mean, you can try to turn out of it, but a lot of times when you do that you're just at a disadvantage because now they're going to get shots on you and you're not going to get any on them because you turned out of it so oh this is perfect this is what I want I'm actually going to get off the gas a little here increase my turn radius and oh how did those not hit him and I got my own players shooting through me. I hate it when they do that. That's such a dirty move. Like, if I see your bullets whizzing by where they could easily hit me, that sucks, man. Really, guy? Mickey Tom Nucky Thompson? Come on. Very good chance he was going to hit me with those shots, but he took them anyway. That is one thing, you know, if a fighter's got position on me, I'll at least reposition myself or take position, you know, well below him or something like that so I can, uh... Alright, this guy's gonna try to drop down, I'm sure. Yeah, here he comes. I'm gonna turn and try to dive away a little bit so he doesn't get much of a shot on me. And his P-51's fast, and he's in a much greater energy state than me, so... I can try to chase him down, but I don't know how much good it's going to do. This plane is very fast, but when... P-51's fast, too, and when he's, you know... Half a kilometer or more above me, it's kind of hard for me to, uh... Match that energy state and keep up with him. If he wants to run, there's not much I can do. Kind of hoping he wants... Whoa! Kind of hoping he wants to re-engage, but I did not know that Bearcat was coming. Yikes. Anyway, there you go. Uh, Spitfire Mark or Spitfire F Mark 14E, the first Griffin Spitfire. Um, I will probably do more videos on it, but there's one for you. Thanks for watching.